Good morning. It is chore time. About to go do some chores. And uh, I'm going to bring you along with us. Got to go milk the cow. Got to go take care of our chickens. And it's a little, it's a little chilly this morning, but it's a beautiful day. Sun shining. So excited, excited to be out, to be outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. mm. There goes Grayson. Family chores, best way to start your day. All right, we made it to the farm. I'm gonna get chores done. Matt's grabbing some hay, and Grayson and I are gonna go ahead and start milking the cow. All right, so you guys know that we have 10 pigs right now that we're raising to sell. And we have one pig, little piglet, that's just, I guess she's the runt, or he, I should say, is the runt and just didn't seem to be growing quite as quickly as the other one. So we have separated it from the rest of the animals and just have it in its own separate pen. It's actually like an old little, um, Chicken. chicken coop that we had when we very first got chickens so we're keeping it in there it's got some nice bedding and um, just feeding it so that hopefully it'll grow kind of catch back up we wanted it to make sure that it had its own feed and water and everything that way maybe like the other big animals weren't pushing it out so that it wasn't able to eat as much as it wanted to so we're just hoping to like fatten it up i gave it raw milk yesterday um and giving it kitchen scraps and all of that once it gets a little bit larger and looks it doesn't look unhealthy just small so once it gets a little bit larger we will put it back out with the other pigs and we'll actually we won't be selling it we'll we'll keep it for ourselves probably end up splitting it with um my father-in-law Right now, I feel like we don't have as much going on here on the farm this winter time with anything is a lot slower than spring and summer and even fall. Um, so it seems, I don't know, a little, not boring, but just a little slow around here and I've missed having all the different animals, weirdly enough, which we did get the pigs earlier than, ooh, scare me, earlier than I thought we would. Um, so that's given us more to do than I originally thought. But we're using this as a time to plan and a time to prepare for the spring and the summer. So one thing that we've done is cleared out near the road. Um, where we're going to be putting a driveway and a separate entrance into the pasture. So I'll show you. We got some clips of them 
clearing and all that, so I'll show you that. Yeah, so Caitlin was telling me um, earlier uh, about some things that she shared with y'all about things we're doing to prepare. Don't have a ton of chores right now, but there's a ton of work to do. A couple of things that uh, I'm working on personally is we're trying to get plans finalized for our house, um, trying to get in touch with contractors and all that kind of stuff and get roads, access roads put in and water ran and all that kind of stuff. So a lot, a lot is going into that. But uh, also we are working on building a, um, <clears throat> a chick shawl, which if you guys follow Justin Roach, uh, you guys know what that is. We're working on building our own version of that. Uh, we have some more egg layers coming, and so we're wanting to run these egg layers behind the cow. Um, and then we have, hopefully, we have some beef cows coming this year um, as well. So we're wanting to run the chickens behind behind Phyllis and, and the beef cows uh, to kind of spread that manure, help us, <clears throat> help our pastures out some. It has rained so much this year that, um, you know, we just trying to get some good soil and good grass and, and want to be able to feed the cows further into the winter than we did this year. So working on that, our minds on that, trying to prepare our, our pastures and stuff better this year. Um, so we're working, we're going to build that. We're going to build some more um, chicken tractors for meat, uh, for meat birds this year. Um, or this winter we have I say this winter it is it is the end of January so um, we have the meat birds coming at the end of February 1st of March so I better I better get on the wall with, those, with these little projects but that's kind of what we're working on trying to get structures built and things built because we are planning to to grow a few more chickens than we did last year um, I think that's what's wonderful about homesteading you learn you you modify you make things better um, and so Caitlin doesn't think you can have too many chickens. And so we'll just, we're adding more chickens to the mix, more egg layers, more meat birds. Uh, we're still kind of up in the air on turkeys. I really want to try to raise some turkeys um, this coming year. The uh, Caitlin and my dad, mm, they're a little mixed on the whole, on the whole uh, turkey experience. But anyway, tons to do, probably not a lot of chores to do, but there's tons of things to prepare for the spring. Uh, working on garden stuff you know we're just super excited about going into a full year of farming I know that um, last year <clears throat> we really didn't have a full year kind of did but we didn't um, in, in the fact that we were not out here on the property already so we're working on all these things getting ready for next year cannot wait for you guys to come along um, and share it with us and if you're one of the folks that are out there right now that um, have always wanted to do this but you don't have 10, 12, bunch of acreage. You don't have to. Start where you're at. We started with a garden, living in the city with chickens. And that was that was a lot of fun and a great learning experience. So start where you're at. Learn something new. Um, the biggest growth you'll ever have personally is when you're out of your comfort zone. So get out of your comfort zone um, and you won't regret it. Boxes. Yeah. You want me to get it? Did you break it? Huh? I might have cracked. Trying to get. Trying to get it. Have you ever heard the saying, "Don't cry over spilt milk"? I'm about to cry over a cracked egg. <laughs> Do I need that? I can't reach it. You might can. Try it. Go see. See it? Yeah, I can't reach that more. Gotta dig in there with a stick. I just can't make it get farther and farther away. Did I crack it? Okay. I'll have to do the float test on that one, make sure it's not an old one.
Matt, do you know how old these donkeys are? Nope. Somebody asked me the other day and I told them they're not ours, so I don't really know. I know one of them was born here, right? I think both of them were. Both of them were? So Jill, Jill is over here. Jill's the original. Jill's the original, the mama. I think she's several years old. Um, he bought him at a cell barn. He bought him at a cell barn? Yep. Did she come pregnant then, I guess? Yeah, didn't know it. Oh. <laughs> she has a, a way of being pregnant without people knowing, huh? Oh, well, you know. She hides it well. So, if, if you watched a few um, videos back during Christmas, actually it was on Christmas Eve, Jill gave birth um, out in the field. Nobody knew she was pregnant. Matt had a sneaky suspicion she was pregnant, but um, the baby didn't make it. Jill never got any. Her milk never came in, and we couldn't get the baby to drink from a bottle, and so it just it didn't make it. And it was extremely cold that day. It was like the coldest day of the whole year, probably in several years. Um, it was like eight degrees or something like that. It was crazy, but. The donkeys do a good job of keeping uh, predators out of the pasture and they're pretty sweet, but they're not nice when they don't need to be nice. So They are a little bit of um, a headache as far as wanting to get into things. You just have to keep a good eye on them because if there's any feed or hay left, they are going to want to eat it. That is for sure. Digest it when your food is broken down. You can't eat. I think I have too much in my mouth. Yeah, I don't think I need to digest it. I always do for